Good afternoon, Year 10s. So we've been doing our citizenship unit all about human rights and what human rights you have and how the situation is for human rights at the moment. The first lesson we looked at what they are, and then we went to look at what rights are enjoyed or abused or not allowed or um, allowed in certain circumstances in the United Kingdom at the moment. But now we're gonna to turn to look at the world. And we can't really do that without thinking about the United Nations because this is the organization that put forward the United Nations Declaration on Human Rights in 1948 after World War II. And here we have Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, the famous photo of her holding the declaration as it was put out. The idea of rights were there before that, that people had rights, but this is a, a, a major document and a step forward in human rights for the world. So the United Nations has this aim to protect and promote human rights for every single person. And that sort of ties in with the aim of preventing future war and conflict. So we will cover this a lot in your unit in religious studies, peace and conflict you're going to do soon. Why does it link to that? The idea is that everyone has these rights and that this is gonna help prevent future conflicts if people can live with their human rights and have their human rights respected as well. So it goes hand in hand. So here we have got something called the General Assembly, which has almost all, but not quite all, countries in the world has representatives here to discuss and vote on different um, ratifications and issues that are facing the world to do with human rights and um, conflict and peace and, and human life. And then of that group, so they'll vote on something and decide on something, you have got the Security Council. And in that Security Council, you've got people who are voted in by the whole group um, and this changes over, over, over periods of time. And within that Security Council, you've got five member states who are permanent members of the Security Council. And so this group in particular have a special um, thing called a veto, which means that decisions that may be made by the Security Council, by the General Assembly, but by them as well within that, they can veto and say, no, they don't agree with that. So in a way, this veto helps to keep a bit of balance to stop one member of the, of the permanent um, Security Council from like throwing their weight around against the others. So it has been helpful in different times. And again, we'll look at that in more detail um, in your religious studies unit. So it's just not all bad that you have these five members who have this power to veto. But in recent times, and in um, a few videos you'll see later in this lesson, that is discussed as an issue. That sometimes people may vote on something that, that someone might veto against, or you know, one of the one of the country's um, representatives will veto and vote against something that everybody seems to think is a good idea. So it's just a point that whilst that's there for a reason, it can also be seen as a criticism, even though it may have brought benefits in the past, which we'll, we'll go into more when you do that in religious studies. It's mentioned later in the lesson, so I wanted to take a minute to explore that with you. But it's not just sort of the decisions and things that are voted on here in the General Assembly and the Security Council. You've also got different organizations connected to the United Nations which help with human rights on the ground. So for example, the Council for Refugees, um, the Organization for Children's Rights or the Human Rights Commission are gonna help and look and see what issues are going on with human rights in the world today. They may go to countries and support people. They may go and investigate things. They might publicize things so that people have information and work on the ground as well at helping to um, prevent abuses of human rights and, and promote human rights. And so later in today's lesson, you're going to research them and see some of the things that they're, they're actually doing. And like I say, we'll have a longer when we do this topic in, in RE to explore this a bit further, we can't really do something about human rights without discussing the United Nations. So I hope um, you enjoy the rest of the lesson. Stay safe and goodbye.